Yeah, g'day you lot. Um, thought I might show you the, uh, the bong vac that I made. Uh, I had to suck up a heap of plaster dust after some renovations and the plaster dust was just killing all my other vacuums. So I thought why not use the same principle as a bong to filter out all the crap. Um, bong uses water to filter out all the uh, impurities and that so I thought uh, I might use uh, water to filter out all the plaster dust. So I'll just show you it working first and then I'll take it apart and show you how it works. Basically, um, just got a standard vacuum cleaner hose on here and a uh, wet and dry vac I just bought from Super Cheap, I think it was, for like 30 or 40 bucks. Um, it's really good that it is a, a wet and dry vac because uh, the first effort I made uh, actually spewed water out the uh, outlet. So, luckily I didn't zap myself. But anyway, I've got a heap of plaster dust here, so we'll just uh, turn it on, suck it all up. And uh, you'll notice on the outlet here that there's absolutely no plaster dust coming out when I'm sucking all the plaster up. So yeah, that uh, works quite well. Basically, uh, all it's made of is, as I said, the, uh, the wet and dry vac, the standard vacuum hose. Um, this is the actual original intake, which I just uh, put some tape over, so it actually sucks through from the bucket instead of through the hose built in here. Um, and yeah, I'll just take it apart. Standard wet and dry vac just uh, draws everything up through there. Move that out of the way. And uh, inside, I uh, chopped up the old lid because I was having a little bit of a foaming problem. So, chopped up the old lid just to try and keep a bit of the foam down so just the vacuum comes through here. Just remove that out of the way. And then uh, I thought originally, the um, basically uh, when it's sucking all the uh, bubbles up through, all the bubbles were going to be large and that could still leave the potential of having powdered. Uh, powdered dust coming up in the middle of the bubbles and still and still uh, have powder spurting out the outlet so I thought I might put some uh, fiberglass uh, fly wire in there to uh, actually make the bubbles nice and small so all the plaster dust actually soaks into the water a lot better so um, I've just got a couple of aluminium strips in here just holding, holding the fly wire in I'll just remove them out And then inside, it's just a bunch of uh, fiberglass fly wire. And there's the water in there. That's uh, resulted after about a minute or two. I used it for a bit before the demonstration as well. So it's just a bit of crap in there. Uh, to stop the foaming, I actually added... That's just water. And to stop the foaming, I added a bit of, uh, bit of uh, white vinegar as well. And that seems to have helped a lot because originally it was foaming up like crazy and spurting out the outlet. So I'll just dump all the water out. Son of a... Alright, you can see in the bottom of the bottom of the bucket here, all I've got is some 40, Schedule 40 uh, PVC pipe. I just got a nice adapter here which I just uh, drilled out to fit the uh, vacuum hose. That goes down to the bottom of a bucket, which I just drilled a hole through, and then a uh, 90 degree bend, and uh, which I then epoxied in. I just, uh, that's a bit of sawdust and crap from other projects I was doing while it was drying. It doesn't make a difference. Um, that goes through into another bit of straight Schedule 40 pipe with a cap on the end. And I don't know if you can see down inside the bucket, there's actually several holes drilled inside, drilled the side of 
the pipe here. I've got it, what, 10 holes, about, I think it was about 11 mil drill bit, and all the bubbles actually come out of those holes, go through the fly wire as tiny little bubbles, the water soaks up all of the plaster, and then Bob's your auntie. And uh, that's pretty much it. Thank you.